Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensi Consultant, Lovington, New South Wales. As a consultant, I was able to get a sneak peek, a pre-release of the Sense of the Season collection, which hopefully will be released sometime this month. It is the 22nd of November and what with shipping delays and all sorts of things, supplies, um, this has not been released uh, to the general public as yet. I'm so pleased that I was able to get it. Uh, there's a five bay bar bundle here. Um, there's probably at least two or three that are my favorites and will go into my Scentsy Club. And if you don't know what a Scentsy Club is, it is Scentsy's way of uh, rewarding you for being a customer, basically. You can actually put mainly fragrance bars, um, wax bars, in your Scentsy Club and use the always get my bar feature, which is something that I really like. And they will send it to you for as long as it's in your Scentsy Club. My Scentsy Club uh, for December will actually cut off at the end of this month. So whether it makes it or not, I don't know. But anyway, the cutoff uh, for a Christmas delivery, if you're thinking of buying this gorgeous package and giving it away as a gift, and it is perfectly packaged, 13th of December here in um, New South Wales. So, and if you'd like to get on my website and you're in another state, I'm sure um, that that information is available. <clears throat> that is for Christmas delivery. Anyway, I am so pleased I've managed to get these and try them. I've actually got two packs, two bundles, so I'll be able to warm to my hearts to consent because, as I said before, there's a couple of really good ones here. So a couple are returning favourites, and there's three brand new ones. The first one is Bayberry and Current, and that packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I was a little concerned with this one because Current is not always something that I enjoy. And it is a wreath of peppery Bayberry, fresh juniper and Current. And this is a, a gorgeous turquoisey type wax, light teal. And it is very herbal, but it is really nice. I loved it. I've only got one bar left and uh, one cube. And well, I've got another bar as well, so I'm really pleased about that. I will actually um, be melting this <clears throat> again. Um, I'm not quite sure whether it's appropriate for this time of the year. It is warming up, which I'm very pleased about. Oh, you're having a little nod there, Naomi. <clears throat> and... Um, Bayberry and Current will definitely be going into my Scentsy Club because it is lovely. I think it'll probably go in the three monthly one because as I said, it's probably a bit warm for me to get carried away with it, but it will certainly go in my Scentsy Club because I really like that. The second one is a returning favourite, so Bayberry and Current was brand new. The second one, which is a returning favourite, is Blue Christmas. And this one I did have in my Scentsy Club for a while. It's also been in the clearance section, so I was able to pick up a few. Um, I haven't used quite so many of this, and it's again, it's a lovely blue wax. And it is orange peels, cloves, fresh pine, and cinnamon sticks. And it's only this last winter that I've been enjoying uh, tree scents. Up until then, I was a bit hesitant to tr even try them. But this is really nice. It's not overpowering. It is very tree. Um, but it actually mellows out in the warmers. It's quite strong to me in in the um, clamshell, but it does mellow out beautifully. Oh, that's what I was going to say about um, bayberry and currant. It is quite herbal. Not quite so much tree, but it is herbal and green. And it does actually fill my unit, which is great. Blue Christmas, again, also fills my unit. I can use a whole bar in my unit and it does extremely well. And both of those I found lasted a couple of days and I have difficulty warming scents that last in my unit. They just don't last. But these two did last a couple of days and that's always a good thing. 
Next one is gingerbread hugs, and that's really cute packaging. And this one also is a returning favourite, and it is sort of a bakery biscuity colour. And it is baked gingerbread, vanilla, and nutmeg. I love nutmeg. Um, gingerbread can be very overpowering to me. This one's not, and I think it's because it's got the vanilla in it, which sort of evens it out, mellows it out. It is very gingerbread. And it scents up my kitchen absolutely beautiful. It is also a good mixer for me. If you find that it's just a bit too much vanilla, um, gingerbread, if you have a vanilla scent, and for me, vanilla bean buttercream did very well. I've also got um, vanilla waves, and that added another component to it. Um, because it's sort of salted and um, it wasn't really my favorite but my absolute favorite th with this was a bring back my bar oh no yeah bring back my bar that I've got um, which is called apple butter frosting apple butter frosting is odd to me on its own but mixed with things it's a perfect mixture and with gingerbread hugs although I do like it on its own gingerbread hugs and a vanilla scent um, was really nice only lasted a day. I really did not get any more than that. So it's a perfect kitchen scent. The next one is Peace and Joy. And this is a lovely purple wax. Peace and Joy is jasmine blossom, vanilla and cashmere woods. Mm, this is my favourite. It is absolutely gorgeous. It actually reminds me very much of Happiness Blooms, which was a scent of the month a couple of years ago. It also came back and bring back my bar a couple of um, rounds ago. This is gorgeous, not overly floral. And I think it's the cashmere woods in it that I really like. This lasted for a couple of days, which again, as I said before, I am always um, impressed with. But this will definitely be a repurchase. Definitely going in my Scentsy Club. Peace and joy. Love that one. And the last, last, luckily last is Spiced Apple Chestnut. And it is apple, maple wood and spiced rum. And I've used everything of this and it was sort of like a, a dark brownie red colour wax. This one was lovely. And again, it didn't last for very long. It was a kitchen scent for me. It is definitely a kitchen foodie, not necessarily bakery, but it was really, really nice. Thoroughly enjoyed this and I will be getting more of these as well. And in fact, I, I'm pleased that I've got um, another uh, bundle, but the, there will be some that will go in my Scentsy Club, but spiced apple chestnut, not overpowering, not... And it was actually quite a good mixture of the apple, maple wood and spiced rum. Initially, when I first smelt it on cold, the rum was like, whoa, very boozy. Uh, but that, it bellowed out. It was really nice. And the boozy, we didn't really get it when it was actually warming. So apple, um, a spiced apple chestnut will be a repurchase. I might get, uh, I don't know whether I'll get a couple and put it in, um, I don't know whether I'll put it in my Scentsy Club. That is a maybe. But the definite Scentsy Club ones will be um, the Bayberry and Current, because I absolutely love that. The performance is wonderful. Peace and Joy, definitely. It is right up my alley. And um, I think I'll put Blue Christmas back in again. I did have Blue Christmas there for a while. And I will get a couple of rounds of that. And actually, or maybe I'll just put it by a few. Because this one comes back quite often. And I may not put that in my Scentsy Club. I might just buy a few when it comes and stock up. And Gingerbread Hugs. Well, you know, I, it won't go in my Scentsy Club. But I will definitely buy a few and stock up so my two scentsy club items will be bayberry current and peace and joy they are my absolute favorites i've made samples and i will be sending them out later but as i said they're not available just yet um and uh we'll see how that goes the other thing i'd like to do is i've got a basket it's my warming basket i do things just slightly different with my warming basket when I've actually tried um, fragrances and I haven't quite finished them, 
I have a basket that I've put them through. And my last empties, and I've got a huge empties bin, which I need to actually um, share with you as well pretty soon. Um, but I, I quite like, at the end of a season, I like to empty out my warming basket because there are some here that will probably stay for a little while, I think. <laughs> This one is an absolute favourite. It's my hero. I've actually put that in the um, in my spare room warmers. Love this. And this is a really nice, strong, masculine scent. It's an interesting colour as well. You don't see many too, too many dark blue waxes and a nice, strong, masculine scent in my Scentsy Club. Absolutely love this. Last for days. And it is. A, I will go into the spare room just to smell it. It is my favourite. This is is Mighty Pine, and I think this one came from the Holiday Collection. Well, goodness me, beautiful green wax. It is so strong. I made samples of these, and just making samples, it uh, it is just too pine for me. Um, sadly, I don't, as I said before, I don't mind tree scents, but this one is just too pine for me. It, it actually ends up getting a quite a bitter note for me. And this is just my personal opinion, how I actually perceive the scents with my nose, and it's an itchy nose today, and um, in my unit and the environment and my warmers, and all that sort of thing add up to how um, I can enjoy or not quite really enjoy a fragrance. And this one... It was far too strong and, um, and bitter and uh, astringent for me. Mm, Mighty Pine won't be a repurchase and I'll actually struggle to get this through this one. It may stay in my warming basket until next winter. Another one I've got in there is a mixer for me and it's Lemon Sorbet. This is actually a retired scent that I put in my Scentsy Club because I love this one. This is just um, a, a light lemon, um, a lemony colour, and it is a, a lemon dessert. It is a great mixer. It actually tones down things. It adds a bit of oomph to things. Um, so I don't know what I last mixed that with, but lemon sorbet sitting in my mixing basket, and I will use that. I have actually put this with happy birthday, um, and it didn't really work. But I did put it with Birthday Wishes. Birthday Wishes is just a cake smell for me. And um, I did have a couple of cubes. I might even be in my empties, I'm not sure. Um, but Lemon Sorbet and Birthday Wishes is quite a nice, fresh kitchen scent. <laughs> clove and Cinnamon. And it is Clove and Cinnamon. This is actually from a, um, a friend swap. And it is clove and cinnamon it is uh that's all it is basically i love clove i don't mind cinnamon and i use this this has been in my warming basket for a little while i use this again um to just add a little bit sometimes i will get a fragrance and feel put it in my warmers and think oh you know it just needs a little bit of pizzazz so clove and cinnamon is purely a mixer for me <laughs> then we've got roll of the dice ah bright green <laughs> and this is the nightmare before christmas and this was the release with oogie boogie and although the scent pack that i put in oogie boogie is performing beautifully it was excellent when i put i put him back in my box because i've got gordy out here now and I don't know if I can't actually say naughty. I want to call him Gordy. So I think that that's what he'll get called. And he has, what has he got in there? I can't remember. But anyway, when I was putting Oogie Boogie away, his scent pack smelt gorgeous. So stuffing him in the box, I could smell the fragrance. And it doesn't smell like this. It, this to me is very overpowering, very green, very... And I said one stage that it doesn't smell like bugs. Well, I'm not too sure. And I'm not quite sure how I'll get through this. Probably one cube at a time in my bathroom. When I work evenings, I like to have the warmer in my bathroom going because it's also my rear entrance uh, way. And one cube will actually last oh, a couple of days, actually, or a couple of evening shifts. So roll of the dice, 
not really a favorite won't be a repurchase although i do think i have another one there orange flower again is a mixer for me um this is a lovely yellow wax this is overpowering on its own of orange flower it is perfect in an orange scent such as oodles of orange i think i used my last oodles of orange which was in the clearance section as is orange flower is it now i don't know maybe it's all gone now but because i did actually buy a few bars and i've got some on hand because orange flower and oodles of orange is just a beautiful summer scent and we're coming into summer now so i'll be using up the rest of orange flower with oodles of orange when oodles of orange is released for our bring back my bar in january 2021 i will be buying a few of those blueberry ice blue raspberry ice and this is here because i'm very disappointed with this this is a uh, it is a replacement of a very old gooey gummy bar that i was sent in bring back my bar which i was quite disappointed with but since he stepped up to the plate and they did actually send me a much better bar and i did have it in my scentsy club I don't know whether I've still got it in my Scentsy Club. It'll be definitely going out. I've been sitting on this to because I've watched people like, is it Carrie and also Hannah? And Blue Raspberry Ice is one of their favourites. And again, it came out at the wrong time of the year for me. I have become very seasonal. I can't, I can't warm these in the midwinter. I don't smell them for a start. And... Uh, I don't know what it is about this. I was hoping that it would develop into something nice when the weather got warmer. And that's why it's sitting in my warming basket because I will try it again. I have got another bar. Um, but blue black raspberry ice was a bit of a dud for me. Okay, so there you go. That is what I've been warming, a warm review. And um, <laughs> I think that's it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll have an empties video coming up and also I'm expecting a small haul delivery today. My details are below. Stay safe. Enjoy your warming and look after each other. Talk to you soon. Bye.